about uh, well, Tony, commiserations on the defeat. I guess um, immediate reflections after that performance tonight. Oh, look, immediate uh, is a disappointment, of course. Um, yeah, we're disappointed when we're not going through, but we have to congratulate West United. Um, you know, they, they got through over the two legs and, um, yeah, they go home happy to prepare and uh, we, we go home disappointed. What were some of those things that you were disappointed with, I guess, today and what, what let you guys down today? I think just uh, in big games, it's always uh, moments, you know, those little details and moments. And, you know, you think first half, they had one chance, Priyavich, he scores. Second half, you know, another touch, he scores. Um, so those kind of things um, make a difference. Um, the third goal obviously changes things a lot. And then we had some chances, obviously, there to make it 3-2. Um, so we, the boys didn't give up. You know, we hit the post, we got the rebound, had a rebound off the keeper to go 3-2, which would have taken it to extra time. So, um, you know, we, we had a lot of different, uh, different moments there that um, could have changed the outcome. Um, but, you know, it wasn't to be. And I think in the first half, there's a, there's a clear penalty there that, you know, when the ref goes to look at that, how he doesn't give it is, is hard, to, hard to believe, really. But, um, you know, that's at 1-1, one, one, you know, and, uh, and that's what I mean. The, the moments, they took their moments well, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a night um, to reflect on with disappointment, but, you know, over the course of the season, we'll look at the season a bit differently. I was going to ask about that penalty. Did you get an explanation from Alex about you know why it wasn't given in the end? No, no. I think when, he, when he's gone to look at that, I expected that to be a penalty. Can I, I just ask about the second penalty shout as well, Tony? Right near the deck, mm. the handball, Kilkenny. Did you think that? Uh, was look, I, th I thought it was. Uh, you know, he tried to keep his arm next to his body on that one. Um, they're always hard to judge because you see that the arm move away after it's had contact. Um, again, I'm surprised he didn't look at it, but you know, I thought the, the first one was clear, the second one, you know, sometimes they're given, sometimes they're not, or, or looked mm -hmm. at at least. Sorry, remember from the penalties though, it was, you know, this second leg was arguably a continuation of the first leg. Do you feel as though you were able to translate your position into you know, tangible opportunities in front of goal? Um, no, well, they, they defend very well, don't they? And, uh, and on, the, on the break, they scored two goals, which change, changes the game. So. Um, uh, they took their moments well, and uh, you know we we had a lot of attempts without in the first half without um, maybe troubling the keeper too much. But um, you know that's how it was. So I guess coming into the second game, did it really did it play into let's say the line of thinking in terms of preparation for this game, or was it for what? Sorry, uh, just in terms of you know, considering how Western defend and actually adapting to that was. Was that at the forefront in terms of preparation? Yes. Okay, in terms of details? Well, yes, we, we prepared for that and, and there was no difference in the game. They still sat deep. Uh, they played on the break and they took their opportunities in the first game. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what you're trying to imply or trying uh, to suggest, I, I, I'm trying no, to understand I'm it. Just trying to get into, uh, let's say, the relationship between defence and attack for Western and how they could spring into transition quickly. It's mm. more with respect to turning them around and then generating chances from there. Do you feel as though you improved in that respect tonight or well, was it? Well, look, you, know, you, can, you can decide that. I mean, look, the thing is when a team's deep, it's hard to penetrate in behind. When they're up high, you can penetrate in behind. Um, they were dangerous in transition in the first game and the second game. We had a lot of possession in both games, um, and in the end, you know, maybe we didn't uh, capitalise on our half chances well enough. We didn't turn them into good chances. Um, Prijevic had two attempts and scored both, so that's quality player. That's in a in a big game. You you need that, um, and and our youngsters will grow. You know, you've got to think we've got Nick Diagostino, Jake Brimmer, Ben Falami. That's our three of our front four are young players uh, that are still. Uh, improving, evolving as players, had a fantastic year, but this will only improve them to play in big games like this, you know, and, um, you know, they've had wonderful years and they'll only learn from this type of experience. Tony, you just mentioned uh, Jake Brimmer there. He's one of only a handful of survivors from the wreckage of last season, mm. um, but he's become a, a key player for you. He's been excellent in these two semi-finals. Just a word on... 
how you think he's grown and where you think he's improved this season? Yeah, he's, he's developed throughout the year. He got some game time last year, obviously that helped. Uh, he got used to playing regularly. Um, this year he's taken his game to another level and you know, in the big games at the end of the season, he was scoring regularly. Um, I thought today wasn't quite his best game, but, um, but he's always looking dangerous now. So he's, a, he's another young player that will, will grow from this experience. And as I said, with that front three, you know, you're looking at 22, 23, 24 year olds um, that aren't accustomed to playing week in, week out in a big club, in big pressure. Uh, so they can only grow from that. I know it's immediately after the game, but when you reflect upon this season, obviously it's been a season of, of progression for you guys coming from where you were before you took over. You won the FFA Cup, you finished, the, uh, finished second, obviously wasn't able to get through to the grand final, but how do you reflect upon this season? Yeah, in time we will reflect, I'm sure. Right now the emotions obviously are a little bit different in, in terms of uh, disappointment that we couldn't finish a job off because we, we set ourselves up well after the first leg. Um, you know, I thought we showed growth in terms of going down 1-0 and then coming back and controlling the game and not panicking. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, we went down again 2-1 and uh, so it was a constant little bit of a chase today. But, um, but over, overall, we will reflect on the year and, you know, we've won a trophy for the club. Um, you know, so winning a trophy is important for this football club, so we've achieved that. Um, we got so close to the Premiership, so close to a grand final, and um, you know, that's where this club wants to be every year, challenging and winning things. So uh, we've done a bit of both, but when you get so close, uh, tonight's not the night probably to reflect on how, how good of a season it's been. But um, certainly you're right, so many individuals and players um, have grown throughout the year, and we've put some smiles back on the fans of Melbourne Victory and uh, you know, hopefully we can do a lot more of that next year. Um, I know the emotions are raw now, just though, what do you think of this format? It's the first time they've tried two-legged semi-finals, mm. no away goals. Do you, you know, do you think it's worked or do you, would you have preferred it to be a straight one-game knockout? With us losing, if I say it's no good, it's because we lost, you know. So, <laughs> no, I'm not. Look, they've they've tried something. It, it is it is what it is. You know, we they've, they've played two games. It's always difficult to play the same team twice in four days. Um, played both games on the same venue, you know. So that that's I think if we played uh, at a different venue, I think you get a real sense of a home and away. But um, in the end, they they dealt with it or part of that better than what we did. Um, today.